was held today for a woman accused of killing a man on the Dolphin Island Bridge. We're talking about Susan Dickerson. She's charged with vehicular homicide and the death of William Bramlett. This hearing was called because the district attorney's office wants Susan Dickerson's bond revoked because she failed a drug test while out on bond. Fox 10 News reporter Chastity Bird has the judge's decision. Susan Dickerson will remain in jail for now. She was set for a bond revocation motion that the state filed and the judge granted the state's motion. So her bond has been revoked pending uh, the uh, consideration of the grand jury. 60-year-old William Bramlett was riding a motorcycle on the Dolphin Island Bridge in June when police say Dickerson crossed the center line and hit him. The retired Marine suffered severe head trauma and later died at USA Medical Center. But on top of that, at the time of the accident, Dickerson was out on bond for drug charges from Sarahland. Dickerson was given bond at her first hearing, but just last month she failed a drug test. Court documents obtained by Fox 10 News include a toxicology report that shows Dickerson tested positive for amphetamines and methamphetamines. We spoke to Dickerson's attorney back in October. From the beginning, we've maintained that this is just an unfortunate traffic accident. Um, you know, the, the prosecution, the DA's office has elected to file criminal charges against it. We adamantly deny them. Both of Dickerson's cases have gone to a grand jury. Reporting from Mobile, Chastity Bird, Fox 10 News. Jail records show Dickerson has a history of drug and traffic arrests dating back to 2007. After the crash that killed Bramlett,